What is going on guys? Dylan Miller here, and we welcome you to take two of NASCAR 15 Victory Editions Coke Zero 400. Today at Daytona, last week at Sonoma, I finished fifth due to a three minute time penalty. In the Daytona 500, since the return trip to the to Daytona, I finished 29th. My last win this year came all the way back at Richmond International Race, back at Richmond in the Toyota on the 400. Can we get our third win today, Daytona? Let's find out. So we're going to be going 32 laps today. Tire wear and fuel use times one. Flag rules, cautions, damage and failures on full. We are now going to qualify. Skip down to the race. And Jeff Cameron. Good luck, pal. Give us a great show. Here's Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip with their full eulogy because first take of this, I flipped to cable TV because I'm a dumbass. Truex Jr. still starts to pull. Kyle Larson this time starts second. Paul Menard will start third. Jimmy Johnson will start fourth. Then you see Danica Patrick in fifth. She had a great qualifying run despite the fact that it didn't qualify in Michigan. Simulated everybody's times. Pace car is going to make the dive to Pitt Road on this summer, early July weekend. Here we go. Green flag at Daytona. We are underway. Josh Wise, you better give me room. Oh my god, they're really checking up up front. Mike Lynette in the 95 in the 46 is gonna go into the wall. He's their caution is not out due to that Annette and McDowell getting together and checking up. As Clint Boyer is gonna lead lap one. Shrek Jr. will take the lead, but Boyer fights back on the outside lane. Dale Jr. briefly got the lead for a moment, but Boyer takes it back. Three wide, two outside. Chase Elliott in 25, trying to push Wise in the 93, and Dylan's going to go around. Great save. We're okay. Hard 
And he's not going to bring the yellow flag out. Thirty laps to go. David Dillon's going awfully slow at the back. First is in front by eight seconds. This field. This is a been an interesting few laps. David Dillon, if he spun like he did on fourteen or inside line or eleven, he would have basically been the first caution. Matt Kenseth gets shuffled to the front. Is uh, oh now Bobby Labonte gets the lead. Lead going to travel, but Kenseth takes it back going into turn one. David Dillon still lagging at the back. We're basically cutting into an eight and a half second deficit. Kenseth from the 20 now takes the lead. Takes the lead back. Hopefully he can actually stay out front. Oh, I'm sorry. Regan Smith gets the lead. Goes going to three. Regan coming out of four to the tribal. I'm sure this game shows... If you're in the lead pack, there's going to be quite a bit of shuffling in the for the lead. Is Dan Patrick will get shuffled all the way back to back out front as we're trying to push the 98 of Josh Wise and cut into a six-second deficit. We're already partially there. Just hey, there's a pack on the back stretch. Casey Mears in the 13 takes the lead. My original take on this race um, happened when Michael McDowell caused the second big one, bringing out the third caution, and just, oh my god, flew into the air like Jeff Bodine, but he flew in the air like Austin Dillon. And I, what was really funny is I took a photo of Austin job, Dillon was right under him. So, <laughs> a little bit ironic that a crash in this game could probably reference the cars and foresee the cars free trailer. But, shit happens, I guess. Casey Mears, the Atlanta winner, gets to the, takes the lead. Is we're not even lapping, and both the left and right sides of my car already are polar opposites of each other. My left side's all, all clean and shit like that, but my right side is scuffed. I can probably barely recognize that there's a 24 on their, the ARP logo. As Harvick in the 4 is going to go out front and take the lead. I can barely recognize the ARP logo on the side of right side of my car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88 will get takes the lead here. Here Harvick will take back. Like I said, just like a real restricted plate race. Um, in this game, restricted plate races are actually pretty fun, especially Daytona. A lot of shuffling around. Changing the lead numerous times. And but at the same time, you can see a lot of guys go three, four wide. And if you get big runs like I like to do and slingshot past like 30 people, um, it's it'll be dangerous and it'll be pretty tight. Is um, We have cut the gap from all seven seconds down to three seconds as the rocket man Ryan Newman has been shuffled out to the front of the field. Is David Dillon just seems to be going even slower and slower each lap. He was the one car that literally was dead sideways in turn three. Let's 
season one at Daytona was a rat fest, to put it bluntly. It was probably the worst race I ever ran on an NASCAR video game. As uh, Trevor Bain is, sub t is the leader now, we are self basically now Kenseth takes the lead from Bain. Basically, all this has been pretty tame tonight. A lot of typically a lot of drivers like to ride in the back. Nope, not NASCAR 15. You get everybody. Well, the top three, four, right up at the front of the field. Bobby Labonte takes the lead. Lead, there's the five Casey Kane. And 34th on the outside, Justin Algar. Now Tony Stewart. He is no stranger to success here at, the, here at Daytona. As he has won numerous times in the summer race, the shootout, the Gatorade 125, but never in his career that ended this last year in 2016. He won't. As he claimed the Daytona 500 trophy. On, buddy, we're we're on, after a Here's long op head. opening to the start of this thing, we have basically closed the gap to a full second. Is Joey between me and Kyle Larson in the 42? They have caught the lap car of David Gillen in the 38. They think that's him up there in the Top lane, just slowly riding, mind his business. Look at that, three wide, all the way through this pack, almost all the way through this pack, pretty much. See us go all the way low as Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes the lead. David Gillen's gonna bottom the outside lane. Jimmy Johnson's gonna get loose into the pack. Four wide in turn one and two. Hello. Joey Logano leads. Leads right now, but it looks like Dale Jr. gets the lead in the middle lane. They are four wide in the tribal. I'm on the bottom. There is nowhere to go. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. Around they go. It's the big wreck. Edwards up in the air and over. Look at that. Up into the wall. Edwards. Carl Edwards looked like he was on hydraulics. So, first big accident of the night. Jimmy Johnson gets turned into the wall. Carl Edwards turns into the hydraulics mobile. Alright, pace cars off. Green flag back in the air. Blaney will lead the field down. Ryan Blaney in the 21 will lead him down. Larson's going to try to drop back in about 30 spots because that's what everyone seems to do on restarts in this game. As Greg Mitchell will get the lead. I'm stuck in the middle. I'm probably going to fall back about, about, fall about five or six spots. Oh, Algar goes around. Down to the inside. And stops inches before hitting that inside wall. Eric Amarola now leads. Eric Amarola, the 2014 winner, and the guy I still need to pay back is going to lead the field to the restart. Okay, here we go. Two cautions, one somewhat big wreck, and one lone spin. Now the night's going to start to heat up as we're halfway home in the Coke Zero 400. Green flag back into the air.
Junior goes low. Low tries to make it, making some room under the 43 of Almirola. Please let me get to the bottom. Thank you, Kevin Harvick. You are a G. As Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets pushed to the front at Daytona with help from Kyle. Nope. Here. Could Larson try to go through the lead? He's got Almirola behind him. Harvick's got two of Keselowski. Well, Keselowski ducks him behind the 43 because Keselowski is a jerk. Um, Larson gets pushed to the point. Oh, Harvick into the wall. Oh, God. That really bottled everybody and stacked them up. Oh, my God. Stacked them all up. As Kyle Larson gets pushed out front at Daytona. Come on. Oh, Jeff Burton spins in to nobody. Kept it locked down. You got to admire his car control. He kept it pretty locked down. We haven't had no big one yet. That threat just seems to get more and more real as this race goes on. Kyle Larson's going to lead the field down. 15 laps to go. Green flag back into the air. Wow, Paul Menard really left the door wide open. That's actually going to allow Larson to clear him, to get clear of the field. But here comes the 10 of Danica Patrick on the outside lane. Paul Menard shuts, him off, shuts her off. Here comes the 2 of Keselowski. Could be to either A, push me, or push Gordon, or wreck Gordon. You decide. This is the fun. See if we can try to go to the outside, inside on Larson. Inside. 43 of Almirola trying to give me a big push. There's a 19 of Carl Edwards whose car was on hydraulics. Oh. Nope. There's me blocking the 42 of Eric Am 43 of Eric Almirola. Um. Ah. Ant Larson. Oh my god, Larson's being shuffled back four wide. Gordon and Keselowski, 1-2 at Daytona. When have we seen Gordon and Keselowski in a situation fighting for the lead? <laughs> Texas, 2014. <laughs> Brad cuts Gordon's tire. <laughs> Gordon beats the shit out of Brad. <laughs> I gain respect for Jeff. As here comes the 78 of Trex Jr. Who, on, who was on the pole in tonight. Won the pole for tonight's race. Well, we say he's got David Gillen behind him, while Stuart Haas teammates Tony Stewart and Kurt Busch are on the outside. Truex slides up to block the 14. Here comes the 78 of Gillen. The 38 of Gillen. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, get low. Low, 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 low. Alright, get all the way low. Here comes 38 of Gillen with the. 16 to fifth Here comes the 17 to Stenhouse. Went who won the coach that's hundred earlier this year. Could he win another big race and add, add the Pepsi 400 to his trophy case? Gill into the outside. Biffle looks low. Oh, there it is. Gillen on the outside with Biffle. Find him. Oh, there it is. Damn. I need to stop rewind. I need to stop hitting that rewind. Alright, here comes 38 Dillon. Oh, Biffle got very loose. He slams into Blaney. That actually helped us clear, clear the field. As here comes Jeb Burton in the 26. BK Racing teammates playing the hookup. Jeb Burton was sideways, bringing out the last caution.
13 laps to go. When we get to the line, there will be 12. J.J. Yaley is there. Bobani in the 32. Kevin Harvick in the 4. On the inside lane with Bobby Labonte behind him. Pushing him. Inside, on inside line, Kevin Harvick won that race. And... That look, they were four wide for a moment in the trial. Yaley into the pack. Yet no caution has come out, despite the fact that Yaley basically spun into the field and took out 20 plus cars. 12 laps to go. And this game prides itself on realism as the round goes Bobby Labonte. Spinning hard into the inside wall. Almost got the four, Kevin Harvick. The safety crews are clear of the track. The road will be open this time. He came very close to basically almost cleaning, heading hard to the inside wall. All right, Gordon and Harvick are on the front row for this restart. Ten laps to go to settle it tonight, today at Daytona. Oh, sorry. Ty Hill looks to try to get behind the four of Harvick. Wow, Mike Lynette straight up the middle, three wide in turn one. Can it, it could be for the lead here. If Jeb Burton's going to push me, it very well could be for the lead coming out of two. And that shuts the door. Here comes Carl Edwards straight up the middle, but Ty Dillon cuts him off. I have no help. Thanks, Jeb Burton. Here comes Kurt Busch to push me. Thank you, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Four wide behind this pack for the lead and very well for the win. The Dillon brothers pushing one two here at Daytona. Here comes Austin Dillon driving that fame number three to the bottom of the track into the front of the. Three wide, here comes Austin Dillon under Ty Dillon for the lead. Ty Dillon pushing for Kevin Hart. They have had history. Austin Dillon being pushed by Michael Annette. Jeff Gordon being pushed by J.J. Yaley. Gordon's last start at Daytona. His last start ever at Daytona. Well, at least for now. He's doing the watch 24. Oh, Annette. Oh, God. There's a car down the apron. There's cars all over the place. How has there not been a caution? Now the caution flag comes out. Seven laps to go. Casey Mears lead. Hey, I mean, oh, this game's actually nice to me. They're giving me the inside lane. They're literally giving me the inside lane. J.J. Yaley and Casey Mears leading down. Green flag back in the air. Stretch. Just got to survive this next seven laps. Larson and Logano being pushed to the front while I'm basically holding up a train of three. Outside. 
looking back, this race has actually been kind of tame. Nothing really major, no frequent cautions or roadblocks, big ones. There's this game likes to frequently pull off. Just, it's been tame, and it's been actually kind of fun. Casey Mears leads. There's a uh, two pair, pair of two car tandems in front of me. There's Mears, uh, oh, Chase Elliott in 25 pushing somebody else. I think that's Austin Dillon. There's Jamie McMurray gets pushed to the front. Just got to make it six more laps. Don't give a damn about the finish. Jamie McMurray leads. Four laps to Michael Walter gets the lead at the line. Five to go. That's good. Stay right there for more speed. There's a five second gap between you and the leader. And Carson is out. Two caused cautions in a row. Yeah, I'm pitting. I'm, I'm fucked. I can't take it. Oh, everybody's coming in. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Not everybody came in. Yes. Door up. Wedge. Okay, guys. Forty seconds. Stop. Complete with the semi. The semi truck. Michael Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Legends. Restricted plate legends of the early 2000s are going to leave the field down. We are in last, but we have got our car repaired. I think everything magically got fixed. Green flag back into the air. Come on. Come on, Edwards, you better. Edwards. I like you in real life, but in this game, man, everybody's in, in this game, man, follows your dick. Michael Walter will lead, even now, leading for one and two. Can Dale Earnhardt Jr. have anything to say about this uh, finish? All 43 cars, despite the carnage. Are still on track right now. Despite the fact that car loaders is on hydraulics, you should have flipped in this race. Jeb Burton leads. Oh, Greg Biffle now takes the lead. Two to go here at Daytona. As we're going to go to overtime, Paul Menard's into the wall, and they wreck. Oh, they continue to wreck. It's been quite the race. First attempt did a green-white checkered finish. Greg Biffle is going to lead him down. Okay, we're doing two more. Two more to the finish. Good 
Here we go. Seven cautions, caution flags, all of them basically coming in the second half of this race. Greg Biffle is the leader. The goal is to get to the white flag in one piece. That's the goal right now. Get to the white flag. The last lap in one piece. Stenhouse, help me, bro. Help me, bro. Help me. Thank you. Barely. Fucking sucks, Stenhouse. Out of turn four, Jeb Burton has the lead. Here, here I come. White flag. I really shouldn't have done that. Alright, coming through three and four. Three and four, white flag in the air, last lap of Daytona. Hamlin gets loose. Bad loose, too. Danica Patrick in high tier Hendrick equipment. Could this be her night? There they go. Oh, Junior. In trouble. Four walk. Oh, God. God. Alright, I need to stop using the rewinds. Last lap here, they tore up. Down the back stretch. Three wide, almost four wide down the back stretch. No help. Come on, Josh Wise, let's go. Danica Patrick has the lead. Two more corners, and we have history. Oh, they're bottling up. They're asking for them all to wreck. They're asking for a wreck. Come on, can we do it? Out of turn four. Oh, they wreck at the line. Well, they bottle up at the line. More than anything. They don't really wreck, they bottle up. It's a long season, buddy. The main thing is building up some of those points. So go to that wreck here. So here I am. Basically, I'm not really gonna do anything. So we all basically wad them up, wadded them all up. Look at that. Screw that. I'm gonna get a photo of this. Photo. Six wide at Daytona. When you low keep try to pull off six wide. <coughs> Quite the race. Six wide. Anyways, Danica Patrick pulled it off. She becomes the first woman in NASCAR history to win at Daytona, and this top ten is just ridiculous. Look at that. Chase Elliott in fourth, but this is uh, 2015 Chase Elliott we're talking about. Uh, Jeb Burton 5th, A. 
AJ Allmendinger, I could kind of see up there. Greg Biffle, yeah, he's logical. Justin Allgaier, no. Clint Boyer, well, this is after Spingate Clint Boyer, so not really. And Bobby Labonte, no. Basically, the only legitimate contenders in the top 10 would be Ryan Newman and Dan Fitzpatrick. They're both in high-ish equipment. Now, Ryan, Dan Fitzpatrick and Chase Elliott, because they're in Hendrick powered, high powered equipment. See how the points shake out. I still have the points lead somehow. Danica Patrick with her win today, with her surprise win, only jumps up one spot. Technically, if you win, you gotta be in, and be in the top three, you're basically in the chase. So, right now... Right now, David Gillen, Danica Patrick, and Casey Mears would not be eligible for the chase despite their wins at Daytona and Atlanta, respectively. Um, Ricky Stenhouse would be in the chase. Keselowski would be in the chase. Um, Kyle Larson will be in the chase with his win at Phoenix. Eric Amarola will be in the chase. I still need to pay his ass back. Um, David Dale Hart Jr. will be in the chase, but still, a goose egg for Carl Edwards, Kevin Harvick, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Busch, Greg Biffle, Tony Stewart, and Matt Kenda. Nobody has broken the three-win column yet. The next race is going to be the halfway point of this uh, season two. This let's play at Kentucky Speedway for the Randy Quaker State 400. See you Friday.